Hello, my name is Martin and uh, today we are going to take a look at the Foxy Control app. Hardware is all set up. That's something we've done already in the previous video, so feel free to check it out. Uh, it will be linked in our description. And now we're going to jump over here to the website of photoneo.com and we're going to download the Foxy Control app. So let's get to it. So we're going to go to the photoneo.com website, which will be linked down in the description or you can find it in your quick start guide. Once you're there, click support and downloads, choose Foxy Control and on the next page, choose the operation system of the device operating the motion cam. Once the download is done, go through the installation process and after that, open the Foxy Control app. Let's take a quick look at the layout of the UI. In the top part of the screen, you find menu, 3D cameras, language, tools and help drop-down menus. Left side of the UI is dedicated for all of the scanning devices currently connected. As stated in the legend, a tiny LED looking circle indicates the current status of the device so you can see whether your motion cam is busy, starting or ready to be connected. Highlighting one of the devices in the list will display further information about it. Now highlight the device you wish to operate and at the bottom part of the screen hit the connect button. Your motion cam will now connect and you will notice the UI changed quite a bit. The top drop down menus however will remain the same. To go back to the network discovery tab to connect to other devices use the menu drop down menu. I'm sure you must be excited to finally do the first scan so let's do that. Hit the trigger scan button and you should see your device flash once and shortly after the Foxy Control app will display your 3D scan in the 3D viewer part. Great, so we got the first scan done, let's see what else it can do. While connected to the device, the left part of the UI is split into settings and structure tab, which both offer a great variety of settings to tweak. In the settings tab, you can change anything from the operation mode, limit the output frames per second or tweak the exposure. The structure part allows you to set the output maps and you can cycle through them at the bottom part of the screen. In case you change any of the mentioned settings, don't forget to hit the set button to temporarily save the changes and set and store button to permanently save them in a custom profile. You are also able to save a custom profile with your adjusted settings. The right side of the UI gives users additional information about the devices, options to customize your view or take a screenshot. Save and saving options buttons allow you to save your scans in different forms and at your preferred location. Foxy Control app offers a great variety of amazing features, so please take your time to explore them all. Now we are connected to Motion Cam 3D and over here in the device state we can see that it's also running. You can pause the device, log out from it, then you can trigger a single scan or choose a free run option. Time to do some real time 3D scanning. Go ahead, click the free run button and voila! Your motion cam is now scanning the scene in 3D in real time. A 3D viewer allows you to zoom in and zoom out, look at the scan scene from different angles, look at the normals, use different color schemes and much more. It is also important to mention that motion cam 3D also allows you to change the operational mode to a scanner mode in the settings tab. This allows you to scan static scenes at even higher resolution. Now what do we do with all the data? Well, if you want to program your applications directly, you can rely on the C++ or c -sharp APIs, or you can choose any of the third-party integrations such as Halcon. Check out all the options on our website. And not to forget, if you ever come across any technical concerns, feel free to contact our support team. They will be happy to help you out. And uh, as I mentioned, Foxy Control offers a great variety of settings that you can tweak, so take your time, please go through them all and see what it can handle. Now, stay tuned for more videos and tutorials coming from Photoneo, and for now, thank you for your time and see you in the next one.